All right, here we go with this evening's first project. This motorcycle officially belongs to my mom. It stays at her house and is supposed to be for grandkids and stuff to ride around and have fun on. But the last few years it has not been ridden and it has been relegated to the barn. At the Thanksgiving break, I came home, I pulled it out of the barn with the intent to get it running. And um, it's now the end of January, so it's been about two months. And um, when it was put away, it was not put away properly, uh, which is probably my fault as much as anybody else's. And it was put away with gas in it, and not only in the tank, but also in the carburetor. It wasn't drained, and so that was my first order of business. I had a pretty good idea what I was gonna find, and that is that the gas, after being in there several years, was petrified and bad. And uh, when it, I drained it out of the tank, it literally had a green tint to it. You can see those rags down there, those are shop towels, they were blue initially, and that is how much the gas stained them and turned them that green color. And also, of course, the biggest issue with that is the carburetor getting uh, varnish crystals and such in it, and that is what happened. I was not able to get one of the jets unplugged, so I did have to get a new jet kit, and the gasket disintegrated, um, the bowl gasket, down here disintegrated when I took it off. So I got a new jet kit and put it in. I also put in a new spark plug and I got that all working. When I was up for Christmas, I got that put back together and I did get it started. It sounds good. I uh, do need to adjust the idle, I think, but let me tell you what happened with this gas tank. The uh, petcock over here was so plugged up, uh, I wasn't able to free it. So I went to take it off so I could replace it. And because the bolts are upside down, I got confused on which direction was loose versus tight. And I ended up spinning the uh, bolt that's in, uh, or sorry, the nut, excuse me, that's integrated into the gas tank. And I cannot get that petcock off, but I got it off enough that it's no longer sealed. Um, doesn't matter because it wasn't salvageable anyway, but that effectively ruined this gas tank. And so part of the reason I haven't got it running yet is it's taken me this much time perusing eBay casually to find a used tank that I felt was a worthy replacement, both in its condition and uh, in the price range. Because it's not worth putting a new tank on this bike at $250 is the current going rate. That tank has arrived, it's in the Jeep. I'm gonna pull it out and unbox it. pretty sure what happened on the other one is that these that are molded in that uh, I turning it the wrong way broke that mold and now it just spins and there's no way I can get it out so that's that
gratifying when you can look at a bolt and think, oh, that looks like a 10 or an 8. And you grab that socket and you're right. So um, just FYI, the bolts for the seat and for the tank right here are 10s. And for the flange here, uh, the fenders, 8. And while I'm working on this, I'll just share uh, my opinion on storing um, storing equipment for a season, be it a motorcycle stored for the winter or a snowmobile stored for the summer or whatever. Uh, and what I've kind of found are the options and what has worked for me. So. The seemingly more like professional way to, to do it is to drain the carburetor from the bowl drain plug underneath and then fill up the gas tank full so that there is no air in the tank or as full as you can. And, and some people like to put a, um, like a fuel stabilizer in and with the gas tank while it's, while it's sitting. So that, that's the one way that I have heard to do it. What I do and I am not a professional, so I'm not ex saying that it's the right way, but it has worked for me and has kept my equipment running. And that is, um, if it's something that has premium gas, like my snowmobile is high compression, so I run premium gas in that. And uh, premium gas is known to store longer and better than just regular unleaded. So I'll, if I'm pretty certain that I'll be getting back to my snowmobile by the next season, I'm okay leaving the premium gas in. But on my motorcycle that I generally run regular unleaded gas, uh, I will drain the gas out of the tank and uh, I'll use it in something else, you know, a snowblower or something, so it's not going to waste. But I'll drain it and do that. And then, and then I will turn the gas line off, the, uh, the gas valve, and start my machine and run it for a couple of minutes until it runs dry. That has worked, uh, my, my equipment, as long, all the equipment I've done that on, as long as I've been doing it, has always fired up with minimal effort uh, when I've gone to use it again the next time. So when I say that this wasn't stored properly, obviously leaving gas uh, in the tank and in the carburetor without draining it, um, especially, you know, you might get away with that for a season but uh, this sat for several years, so it's no surprise it was petrified. All right, so here we go with the pet cock. And I want to put a little bit of lubrication on that to help that seal.
the carburetor for the idle, which I will worry about at a later time. This guy should otherwise be ready to ride again. Oh, and I have to fix the 